Hello dear student. In this video, we will learn how to use execute non-query method of command object to run the program to retrieve uh, the data from the database. We have seen uh, some methods in last lecture that execute non-query, execute reader, execute scalar and execute XML reader. With the help of these uh, methods, we can retrieve the data and we can perform some operations with the help of command object. So, uh, in execute non-query, we will uh, see one program. Uh, with the help of that program, we can uh, return uh, the data, number of rows affected, and uh, that will be displayed on the web browser. Now, uh, this is an uh, example you can see over here. And we have uh, taken the same example, only modified the database of the tables that I have created uh, in this Visual Studio 2019. Uh, so we will use all these uh, uh, properties that just we have seen. One is a connection, second is a command text, and third one is a command type. Now you will understand exactly uh, what these properties mean. Now in this example, you can see this is one uh, method call, call execute non query, and in that uh, we have to make first of all connection and after making the connection with the help of SQL connection then we can uh, set these parameters uh, with the help of uh, command object and after that get the number of uh, rows affected with the help of this execute non-query method now this execute non-query method it returns a number of rows it does not return the result set result set means that the whole table uh, that you are going to connect with the help of your uh, uh, query or the command so it will just return the number of rows that will be get affected that will be used with the help of this query for example here see uh, the query is like delete from employee uh, emp where uh, department number is equal to 40 means that it will find out that department number column and in that the data containing equal to 40. So wherever the department number is 40, uh, the employee data, these rows will be get deleted. S now, suppose there are 10 uh, employee details, 10 rows, which are containing the department number 40. Then how many rows will be get affected? 10. And this 10 employee data, 10 employee rows will be get deleted with the help of this execute non-query method and uh, it will return the number of uh, these rows that is uh, 10 as a number. Next example suppose uh, this department number is equal to 40 uh, these are total suppose 5, five uh, rows then how many rows will be get deleted 5 rows will be get deleted and it will return integer 32 type and this integer uh, will containing the number of rows actually uh, get affected for operation perform with the help of this execute non query it will not return the whole result set it will not return uh, this the whole table with the help of this execute non query now we will see uh, the example that i have executed so let's go to this example uh, so in this example First of all, what we have to import? We have to import system.data.sql client for making the connection with the SQL. Now, uh, this line of statement, you know, SQL connection con is equal to new SQL connection, create object con. And in that, we have to write down uh, the data source, then uh, which database we are going to connect. And next one, integrated security. Now, how to get this one? Uh, already in uh, some videos I told you about this how to get this data just go to server explorer now here we are considering uh, this server explorer in connections data connections you can see these are uh, my databases among that connection is database so right click over here go to the properties in property just go to connection string Say, uh, take this control a control a control C and take this connection over here so it contains data source attached DB file name 
and integrated security put this into the bracket uh, in this bracket of the at the red symbol and put it into the double inverted comma i'm deleting this line already i have added this one now next is that your data source is equal to local db uh, so just we have to copy it from the properties attached db file name instead of uh, attached db file name here you can write down uh, the database name that is simply database one uh, with the help of initial catalog and third one integrated security is equal to true now initial catalog uh, it gives some error for the windows authentication uh, that's why uh, it will not run we have to make the sql authentication then it will run sometimes on some machines it is giving an error so uh, on my machine it is giving an error so that's why i have taken a full path of attached db file name and then it is executing now the next is that after that making connection what we have to do we have to create a command object that we have learned in theory part so sql command uh, this is a command object and uh, command class create object cmd is equal to new sql command with this that we have to use different properties cmd dot connection now what is this cmd dot connection uh, it is assigned with the con so con you know that it is just created an object for the making sql connection so this connection of data source and database that you have connected uh, that is uh, connection so these properties will be assigned to cmd dot connection after that cmd dot command text what does it mean it means that uh, which command you want to execute so we want to execute delete from student where attendance is equal to 90 so uh, we will delete uh, st student table uh, and we have clauses that attendance is equal to 19 so these rows of whose attendance is 90 will be get affected and that will be get deleted after that cmd dot command type now you know that there are different ways command type just like a text it can be a text command it can be a stored procedure so just uh, system dot data dot command type and then dot text just you have to select it uh, text because we are writing simple inline text after uh, selecting this command type now we have to open the connection so write down cmd dot connection dot open in previous program what we have done so we have written con dot that is simply this sql connection con dot open that is also fine no, but just i want to show you that how exactly this cmd connection work whether it will open a connection or not it will open a connection uh, as we are assigning this con object to cmd dot connection and that is a valid one so this is another way that you can open a connection with the sql command object then now next part is that int 32 now here uh, if you type like i then you will get int see there are the different int you can see in uh, in 16 in 32 in 64 so these are the among that take a 32 bit as it returns integer 32 uh, data rows affected this is just a uh, variable uh, integer variable uh, equal to cmd now cmd you know it is an object of this sql command class cmd dot execute non query now here it will return the number of rows are executed by this query now uh, let's see first of all the table and tell me that how many rows will get affected now let's say this one where attendance is equal to 90 just find out where the attendance is 90 uh, so here so roll number two vidya and course php these rows uh, these row only one single row will be get affected so the output should be a single row and others value are the attendance is 80 so that will not be get affected so only this one single row will get affected now let's go to the code again here as rows affected should be the one and response dot write here uh, this message will be get printed on the web browser rows affected plus that you know uh, it will uh, write number of rows plus rows affected it is concatenated with the string rows affected uh, now it is written in this uh, try catch exception handling so catch exception ex response dot write exception plus ex so 
here if some exception occurs then it will be handled by this cache statement and it will be written on your web browser uh, with this total explanation of this ex and exception or you can write on any user defined uh, statement over here in this exception and finally uh, this uh, case must be executed even though there is exception occur or uh, it cannot it is not occurred then write down over here as in a, fi in a final statement con dot close close or con do, uh, dot uh, dispose you can write it close the connection to uh, free the resources so this is your program of execute non query program so uh, let's run this program uh, view in browser let's see what's happened now we have seen that in that table uh, only there is a single row which is having uh, attendance is equal to 90. So expected output is that it should have the one row affected. Let's see what will be the output. Executing. See here, one row is affected, means attendance is equal to 90, it was one row, that is deleted and that number of rows, it is written in the form of the int 32 type and it is stored in this that we have seen in this uh, rows affected uh, variable and it is get displayed. Now let's check our table, whether really it is deleted or not, let's check it, which one connection, uh, in that connection tables go to tables uh, here student say show data show table data and It is taking some time. This is table. Now here you can see uh, there was one entry of uh, roll number 2 and uh, attendance was 90 and that has been deleted. So you can try it by, by changing the attendance 90 over here and again you can try to execute. Then you can see the roll number 3 data will be get deleted. So in this way uh, this program works. So main aim is that you can create object of this SQL command and with the help of this object you can make a connection uh, and assign this con object to the connection. Command text includes the command that you want to execute. Command type it defines whether it is a store procedure whether it is a simple text. Normally we are going to use simple text. After that you can open a connection with the help of cmd.connection as it is assigned with this con. So no need of using that SQL connection con object directly for opening a connection. You can use the cmd.connection property also. And uh, once you execute non-query method, it returns what? It returns integer 32 type. And for that you have to store into the integer variable. Once you store it, uh, either you can use a label property uh, toolbox from toolbox or you can use a response.write and you will understand that how many rows are affected. So what is an uh, execute uh, non-query method? It is one of the met method used by the command object and it returns number of the rows affected in the form of the end. It does not return the whole result set. Okay, so this is about the execute query just we have seen. Now in next video, we will learn about execute reader. Now we will stop here and thank you.